Hey guys, so today I feel drawn to use the Oracle of the Seven Energies again, so that's what we're going to do <laughs> for the theme. We're going to be using the Tarot of the Golden Wheel for today's collective, and then I'm going to be using the Rider Waite Smith to do clarifiers. Um, while I shuffle, I want to remind you guys that anybody out there who is contacting you, telling you that they're drawn to you for readings, none of those people are legitimate readers, okay? True readers, people who do it professionally, do not need to go around contacting people that way. So please don't fall for that. Um, they'll be telling you some BS thing like, oh, you have black magic, you need to pay me to get it off of you. No, that's a scam. Please don't fall for that. Stay safe out there, okay? Um, and we're going to be doing... Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I lost track of what I was going to say. Anyways, I'm going to give a huge shout out to everybody who's been signing up for the monthly subscription. Everybody who has been sending stars, sending, you know, sharing the, the videos, commenting, even if it's just a little emoji, you guys understand the assignment. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support. So let's get started. Hold on. Okay, let's get started. What's the theme for the first collective today? Beyond the Ordinary, number 45. Okay, so somebody nine could be important to one of you that could be your life path number or four or five let's see so beyond the ordinary says the mystical ineffable part of life trusting in the invisible world without understanding it recognizing that some things cannot be known in advance and are not meant to be grasped intellectually the awareness that everything is as it should be even if it doesn't make sense Beyond our ordinary worlds, defined by our memory, our intellect, and our five senses, is a mystical realm of beauty, magic, and extraordinary potential. This is the spiritual realm, the quantum reality called by some the great mystery. This place doesn't operate under the same laws we're used to, but rather has its own way of working that is perfect, though hard for us to understand. When you want to know what is to come, the nature of something, or where you're heading, it's natural to turn to a trusted oracle and expect some kind of answer that will inform your view of how things are, might be, or should be. Sometimes this is not possible because the elements cannot be named or are not yet in place. Things may still be, may be, may be still in flux, so you cannot know, may never be meant to know. No matter how hard you try to understand why something happened or how or when it will happen, now is the time to surrender to not knowing. The mystery is a mystery because it is at present unknowable and as, yet, and as yet unmade. Even its potential is impossible to understand. What is waiting for you lies beyond the ordinary, but it has not yet chosen its shape, its path, and the manner by which it will be delivered. Your job is to stay the course, allowing whatever comes to be exactly as it will, without trying to ascertain anything in advance. Hmm. So it could be that if, you, if you're going to resonate with this, it could be that maybe you're trying to find out an answer to something. Uh, you're trying to find out maybe in which direction something is heading, what it is that's coming towards you. And this is like, yeah, you're not meant to know right now. And you're going to have to start getting comfortable with not knowing because right now that's not part of the program. <laughs> or it hasn't yet chosen its, its path to you. So let's see. Let's get into the collective the first set here give me the first set please okay so we've got temperance three of wands judgment Queen of Swords. Overall energy, Seven of Wands. Okay. So, this Queen of Swords could be the one that this collective is about or concerning her. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles or Seven of Wheels, I feel like if she is... 
if she is trying to find which direction to head, which path to take, it's because with the Seven of Pentacles, she feels like depending on which direction I go is where I'm investing time, where I'm investing energy. And she may be afraid of investing that in vain. So she's trying to get an answer of where am I supposed to go? But temperance is like, this is the time to be calm. There's the time to not get, not get in your head, not get overly in your body. Patience, chill out basically. In this picture, the three of wands, it's even like somebody's reaching out like, I can almost feel it. A specific outcome, a specific path. And that may be what she's trying to decide with judgment. She's trying to make a decision. Which path to take. So let's see. Let's see why. Let's get more clarity. Clarify temperance, please. Clarify temperance. Page of Wands, Five of Wands. Clarify Temperance. Knight of Wands. With the Emperor. See, the Page of Wands is here too. I saw it, but... This could have to do with... Um, Hmm. This could have to do with love. It could be that the queen feels that somebody is on their way in. She just doesn't know who. She can feel emperor energy heading her way. She just doesn't know who the emperor is. With the page of wands, she's very curious. She's also getting a little impatient. <laughs> Look at all these wands. <laughs> getting a little impatient. Getting feisty. Ready to like, come on, let's get this show on the road. Where's he at? Let's go. So that could be why Temperance is here. Like, relax. Whoever the emperor is for this queen of swords, I don't think they're ready yet. I think that there still needs to be work done. Seven of Pentacles, this could happen in seven months. So it's like something is in gestation. That's why it's saying this is not something you're meant to know right now. Don't focus on who it's meant to be. Focus on yourself. Clarify three of wands. Death card, yep. High Priestess, clarify three of wands. Four of Cups and Three of Wands again. Yeah. So the fact that she's showing up as a Queen of Cups tells me that maybe this is somebody who's like, I'm ready to love. I'm ready to be in a relationship. I've, I've changed a lot, but I feel like there's still work that she has to go through as well. And her higher self is already telling her about this. She already knows that there's something else she needs to transform as well. She's working on it. But it's almost like it irritates her. <laughs> it irritates her that she can't know right now. She's a little miffed. Her arms are crossed like, hmm. Because she's ready. She keeps like, come on. Come on. I'm ready now. I'm ready. I'm ready. Clarify judgment. Temperance again. Clarify judgment. Two of swords. Oh, five of swords. Okay. The strength card. So this queen is getting particularly upset. I started off with the five of wands. Now it's progressing to the five of swords. So first she started challenging her guides. Like, come on, come on. And now she's like, look, I'm going to find out one way or another. So I'm getting this, the, the impression that this queen... 
for some of you she'll resonate in different ways right some of you she'll resonate because five of swords is giving me the impression that they're willing to do any method to find who their twin flame or their lover is they may be going to different practitioners different readers different astrologers like they are going to different methods even not just one method to find out who their match is they're not they're not ready to give up they're not ready to stop the search they're they're not that's why five of swords is here it's like come hell or high water they're gonna find out the thing is they won't be able to <laughs> they're just gonna frustrate themselves some more with the moon here and the way her her position is this is not something she's meant to know now high priestess is like it's it's something her higher self knows but she's not ready to know it right now in the 3d so she's just going to keep getting the urge to be patient or she's going to keep getting urged to be patient to exert self-control because she's starting to lose her patience i think what this queen is forgetting is that when the time is appropriate we'll know pushing and pushing and pushing and she's going to get more and more frustrated as she realizes the answer is blocked right now. Clarify Queen of Swords. Four of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Clarify Queen of Swords. Wow, King of Pentacles, Three of Swords, The Fool. Wow. With the devil. <laughs> okay. I'm not laughing at this queen. I'm laughing with her, okay? Because from what I can tell, she, she's got needs, right? Um... Yeah, she she got needs that uh, she's like, I would like a man. I would like a partner. I would like to be ravished. <laughs> That's a common need. That's a human need. There's nothing wrong with that. I just think it's cute. That's why I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at her. Okay. Four of Wands. She wants to be in a relationship. She wants to find her person. She's like, where? Where are they? Give them to me now. But I don't think she's ready yet. She may claim that she's ready, but I feel like there's there's hurt in her heart still. Which means that she's not really, that may be why she's so desperate. And I'm sorry, I have to use the word desperate because that's the energy I'm getting here. Desperation shows up in different ways. And that's why she's like, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready but she's not really because when you're ready when you're ready for a connection you don't demand it when you're ready it's kind of like let me put it to you this way teenagers wanting to drive right when they want to drive the most is when they're the least ready they just think it's like it makes them feel grown up. It makes them feel like they've got more control in their lives. So they want to drive. But it actually takes time for them to actually be ready to drive, right? There's a lot of things that go into it. And I feel like she's in this place where she's like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for love. I'm ready for commitment. I'm ready for my forever. She's not, though. And the thing is, her guides are trying to protect her from herself. Because if she's not ready... And yet she gets into a connection with someone who would be amazing for her. She could end up destroying it because she's not ready. Let's see. Next set. Look at that. Two of cups. Ooh. Ace of wands reversed. Okay.
the Wheel of Fortune. And Justice. Overall energy, Seven of Cups. <sighs> okay. So... This queen is kind of, um, I'm not, I, I hesitate to use the word desperate because I know some of y'all are going to get so upset with that, <laughs> but let's be real. This, this feels like that. It's like, she's in this place of like, who is it? Who is it? Is it this one? No. Okay. Is it this one? It's like, she's, she's just like almost frantic like there's um yeah like there's this really i'm trying to read the energy hold on it's 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 it feels frantic is what it feels so it's like this is somebody who maybe Maybe they asked for a specific list of traits, right, for a partner. And they're going around, maybe they've got seven candidates and they, they go around and they're like aggressively <laughs> trying to understand if this is the person that fits the list. No? Okay, next. Shove them aside. What about this one? But it's like, okay. Then it's, it's taking a little bit of an ugly turn is what I'm trying to say. Because this person is idealized love so much put it on such a pedestal that it's almost like it's almost like she doesn't feel complete she's getting in this energy of queen of swords because she's starting to get angry she's starting to get frustrated impatient and i'm not again i'm not gonna laugh this time because ace of wands reversed it's like <sighs> She possibly hasn't had a human touch for a while. Maybe she hasn't had sexual contact in a while. And this desire is like bubbling inside of her. She's repressing it. But I'm going to be very clear. One of the energies I got with this. If you resonate with this. You may need to learn how to sexually please yourself. And I did not anticipate. This being the <laughs> what the collective was about. But we have to talk about that, right? Because there's no shame in sexual connection. And I think that if you resonate with this, you may have some shame and guilt connected to your sexual pleasure. So you're going to be the type of person that struggles in pleasing themselves. You have gotten to the point where you rely on a partner to do that. And... Um, this is telling me that you really need to examine that. Because one of the reasons you really desire union is because there's like sexual frustration. This feeling of feeling like a, a garden that is parched. <laughs> and there's no shame in that. If you do feel shame in that, then that needs to be examined. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, things are going to happen when they're meant to happen. You can't rush them. With the Justice card, it may be that the person that's meant for you is dealing with a different type of contract. I'm not saying they're in another relationship. They could be finishing paying off a huge debt. So maybe they're not putting themselves out there yet. They could be dealing with um, the wedding of a, a loved one and that's consuming all their time the point is they've got something that they're dealing with and it's just not time yet clarify two of cups oh strength <laughs> clarify two of cups Okay, 
So we've got the Four of Swords, Ten of Swords, Three of Wands. And Temperance again. I have a feeling that Temperance is going to be a very uh, repeated, repeated theme throughout the collective. Calm down. <laughs> so with the Strength card, there is. There is the need to like restrain herself. Um, show show strength by having a strong will by having self-control by having you know not letting emotions or desires rule her because it's like she's in the middle of healing but she's like okay healing's done i'm ready but she's literally not done she's claiming she's she's good and she's ready to go but she's not it's almost like somebody who's at the hospital and they just had surgery and the doctors are like, you're going to need bed rest. And that person's like, ah, fuck bed rest. And they start getting up and taking out. <laughs> like, um, you will hurt yourself because you're not ready. You need to give yourself time to recuperate. But <sighs> the feminine is struggling with that right now. The, the, <laughs> the kitty cat is pulsing. <laughs> So she's struggling with that. I'm hearing that song of um that who is it? I think that it's Selena Gomez with the um I wanna baby won't you calm down? Calm down. <laughs> I feel hold on, I've gotta find the lyrics to that because I don't I just heard that piece. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. The. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says. Girl, this is your body. Put my heart for lockdown. For lockdown. You sweet like a Fanta. If I tell you, I say. If I tell you, say I love you. No, tell me no. <laughs> Baby, come give me your love. You got me like, whoa, whoa, shorty, come give me your look. Okay. <laughs> okay, it says, I see this fine girl from our party. She wear yellow. Every other girl, they do too much, but this girl, mellow. I found a situation I used to take. Finally, I found a way to talk to the girl, but she don't want to follow. Um... It's kind of hard to follow the lyrics, I'm not going to lie, because it feels like um, the guy who wrote it, who wrote it, Alexandra Uwaife, he uses a lot of like slang. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm just going to stick with what I heard. The calm down part, that's <laughs> what I heard because the rest is a little jumbled for me. Um, I just think that if it if anything is telling you to put your energy in lockdown like bring it back to center ground yourself because i feel like there's a lot of like chaotic energy here clarify the ace of wands reversed look at that lockdown <laughs> clarify ace of wands reversed the hermit Wow. <laughs> yeah, look at that. She's like I want I want to hold somebody. I want I want to touch. I want somebody to touch me. Excuse me. And that's a human need. There's nothing wrong with that. But right now it's not time yet. It's almost like this is part of her healing. It could be that part of her healing is having to learn to control her sexual urges, sexual impulses. As in, when she thinks too much, 
in the in the realm of you know this feels so passionate because this is mars energy it feels so passionate explosive intense she may go for people who aren't good for her so i think that this actually is part of her healing kind of like you know when when um when mothers have a baby they're not supposed to be sexually active um for weeks after the the child is born that's not that's not trying to like hurt her or annoy her it's so her body can recuperate that's what the pause is for i don't think this is about her body recuperating i think this is about her heart recuperating but it's just as important with the hermit and queen of swords it's like this is meant to teach her wisdom this is meant to teach her who to keep out how to um yeah how to how to be more discerning because otherwise she's going to end up hurt again. Clarify Wheel of Fortune. Clarify Wheel of Fortune. Oh. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Six of Wands upright. Clarify Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Her king is out there. She does have somebody for her, but it's not time yet. It's just not time yet. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles showed up reversed. It's not time for this new life yet. It's coming, but she's not meant to know when. Almost like it's something that's supposed to catch her unaware. You know, um, the saying of a watched pot never boils, that's this energy. It's like the more she watches it, the more it feels like it's it's forever. Just stop focusing on it. Focus on herself, on her accomplishments, her growth, her, her you know, building whatever it is she wants to build. There's something that she's barely in the beginnings of. Go focus on that. Explore new things. Um, you know, work on a hobby. Because this person is coming, but not when she... It's going to happen when she's not expecting it, is what I what I can tell. Like, stop trying to predict it. Stop trying to expect it. Clarify justice. Clarify justice. Yeah, see? King of Pentacles. Clarify justice. Okay, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Clarify justice and the fool with the magician. So the person that's for her, this King of Cups, King of Pentacles, with the justice card, they could be either one, they could be going through a divorce. They could be dealing with the legal system in some way. And with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, this person might have suffered a financial loss now they are showing up as a king of pentacles which means that they'll recuperate it but i feel like right now that's what their focus is on that's why they're not even if she met them now she wouldn't recognize them or she wouldn't know that that's the person because they're not ready for commitment right now they've got a lot of different responsibilities they're handling they're they're somebody who trusts themselves with the magician energy they have faith in themselves they know that they can rebuild this but right now, I feel like they may be struggling financially or Ten of Pentacles reversed. They may be going through some difficult fam family problems. This is not somebody who's ready for commitment right now. And if she keeps, she keeps pushing it, all she's going to end up is disappointment because it's not ready. This is like, um, I used this example the other day, but I'm going to use it again. It's like a cake that's in the oven. <laughs> you know, stop trying to open every five minutes and checking. It's going to mess up the cake. Just let it cook. When it's ready, it's time, you know? Okay, so I'm going to stop part one here. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to react to the video. Comment, even if it's just a little emoji that pushes my algorithm, shows me you appreciate my time and energy. Okay, guys? And if you want to watch part two, the link to sign up for the uh, monthly membership is in the description box below. 
If you've already signed up and you're wanting to watch part twos, go to the link that takes you to my Facebook page, my main Facebook page. And once you go there, you'll see subscribers hub. Click on that and that's where all the part twos are at. Okay. See you on the other side, guys. Bye-bye.